Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Spitting Venom, and today we are going to react to the full Bethesda E3 2019 press conference. Uh, I'm going to do the whole thing, uh, all 120 minutes, but I'm probably going to edit it down. So anything that I don't have a big reaction of, or if I'm just kind of like not interested in it or whatever, uh, I'll cut that out for, you know, for time and stuff and try to keep these less than 30 minutes. Uh, but I will put a link to the full press conference down below in the description box. If you want to check it out for yourself, please do go watch there for the GameStop Trailers, uh, you know, YouTube channel. I'll put a link to their coverage of this down below because they had a full stream of this going up today uh, so i have no idea at least with the last one with microsoft i knew about keanu reeves and having something to do with uh, cyberpunk but i knew nothing else uh, other than that, I didn't see any of the Halo stuff before I watched the press conference, which was great because I had a, a really good reaction to it. I feel like I'm so excited for that game and I will totally buy a new system for a Halo game, no problem. Uh, but with this, I know nothing about what came out of this. Although I will say while I'm looking at this here, this is not the official stream, but this is the GameStop trailer stream. And even this has 900 likes at, uh, as I'm recording this, it's like 913 likes and 584 dislikes. So it looks like there was some strong reactions uh, of negativity towards this. I'm going to guess that's Fallout related. I am not a Fallout fan. I haven't played any of those games. I think I've seen some of Fallout 4 and New Vegas played, but I've never seen them outside of that. And I never played one myself. So um, that won't upset me, I'm sure. Uh, so, But it looks like it'll upset a lot of people. So without further ado, let's start this up and see what happens. Uh, we got a 20 second counter on the screen. And the audience is cheering. It's funny, if you go down and read the comments here, it's like people are saying, why did they pay the audience, or what did they pay this audience to make them cheer at the worst things possible? Um, that was like the first comment I saw down there. So clearly people did not have a good time here, at least uh, watching it online. Please welcome the founder of Tango Gameworks, Mr. Shinji Mikami. Oh, yes! Tango Gameworks and Shinji Mikami. All right, this is what I'm talking about. Because that opening with, like, Pete Hines and, and uh, everyone coming out and talking and showing off, like, Fallout stuff, it was putting me to sleep. So I'm sorry, Bethesda. If anyone at Bethesda is watching this, I don't care about Fallout or any of that stuff. But Shinji Mikami, I'm down for. This is awesome. Tokyo. It's Monday morning there, but they are watching. <laughs> this guy, so he created Resident Evil. He was the director of Resident Evil 1, the original one, in 96, um, and worked on the Resident Evil franchise up until, I think, 4 was his last one, um, in some capacity, I think. And then uh, Devil May Cry, I think, he went off to do, and, and Onimusha, I think. Um, then he did Evil Within 1 and 2, and I love those games. And Ghostwire Tokyo looks like the reveal title of his new game. I like him because he does new IPs. He's not just like the Resident Evil guy, and then he did Evil Within, and after two games, he's like, We're, I'm going to move on to something else. So that's great. A city full of supernatural evil. <laughs> I love it. So it's set in Tokyo. That's amazing. Um, so again, like that, that Japanese thing he, uh, like building he tweeted out, I was like, what is it? Like, what's it going to be? Everyone was thinking Evil Within 3. I'm like, it's a Japanese, like, temple. Like, what are you talking about? Oh, I can't wait. What are we going to see here? Are we going to see gameplay? I, I would love to see a trailer gameplay, and I would love for this game to come out tomorrow so I can start playing it. <laughs> I'm sure none of those things are probably going to happen, or maybe some of them, hopefully. Wow. Thank you. Arigatou uh, Akumi Nakamura. She's a... I, I think she worked on Evil Within. I think. I remember watching, I think, a video of her designing characters. So she's the creative designer now for stuff at Tango. That's amazing. I'm glad he is pulling in really talented people like her. That's amazing. Uh, we are making a new kind um, of action adventure game. Action adventure spooky. game. And it's spooky. That's not the survival <laughs> horror game that we are known for. Right. People are vanishing in Tokyo. Wow. You must find out why. You will encounter conspiracies and the occult. You Conspiracies and the occult. The People are just disappearing. And you gotta figure out why. And save humanity. In the game, you will meet spirits, some dangerous, some peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> and survivors that each have their stories. 
She's awesome. I'm kind of head over heels for her because I've seen her artwork and design, her passion for what she does, and it's amazing. Like it's you get you. Inst- I don't know. That's kind of how I react to people when they have like a strong passion. It's like a, I don't know. It's like an instant attraction, and uh, and she's like so into what she does, um, and she's so talented at it. So I'm so glad to see her here. She's got a big personality too, which I I love. It it probably helps her design too, being kind of like this really out there. Um, you know, personality. And I think this is Shiboya, uh, which is, oh man. I've never been to Tokyo. I've always wanted to go. Uh, with my health and stuff, it's hard for me to fly, especially for that many hours in the air at that altitude. Um, it's tough for me. Um, that's cool. Kind of reminds me of Resident Evil, the fourth movie, right? Where it was like Shiboya and then it was like uh, an Afterlife, I think it was called. And then everyone, everyone's walking by in umbrellas in the rain. And this kind of looks a little like, uh, Resident Evil 5-ish. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, what? Oh, uh, the dog's still there. Okay. Dang, man. What are those? Who are you, Ronin? Multiverse. You see that sign? It said multiverse. That, it was kind of like a, that temple, like archway, I think is the picture he tweeted out. Wow. Whoa. Dude, what the heck? Oh man, oh man. Whoa, are you Green Arrow? I guess, well, I guess Ronan shoots a bow and arrow too. Well, he doesn't, he uses the sword, but. Attack it. Wow. Don't fear the unknown, attack it. That's a, what a great tagline. Oh my God, that guy, I love Shinji Mikami and Akumi, like, um, oh, I'm so pumped for that. That. I don't care really about anything else at this press conference now. Now that I know he's got a new game coming out, that's all I care about. Like, that's uh, that's all I care about. Wow, what a great looking game! All right, so we got a new game here. Kira Schlitt is coming out to talk about um, this world premiere of this new game that Zenimax is working on. Hi everyone. All right. Well, let's see what it is. Um, for something completely different. Imagine a classic Saturday morning cartoon in free-to-play mobile game form. What? Let's take a look. I mean, I kind of like mobile games now because I have a phone that can play them. So I'm willing to give anything a chance. Pass. <laughs> Contraption to per- Pass. Everybody could use a little more doom in their lives. Yeah! And we'll see you in hell. All right, it looks like we're going to get a doom trailer here. I skipped around a bit, actually. I skipped uh, almost like an hour into the, the you know presentation because... I don't know. I didn't really enjoy a lot of the stuff I was seeing. <laughs> and then there was a, cu- a couple. Like There was one that was like these French developers. They came out. The two guys came out on stage. And they did like a little presentation. They showed off their game. It looked pretty cool. Like a, you know, um, like an, a first-person advent- action-adventure game. But it was like the, 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 the stuff we saw was a lot of third-person. Now, maybe he said third-person. Uh, maybe I misheard him. But, uh, yeah, that looked kind of cool. But Doom, like I'm excited for Doom. Uh, that last Doom game that I played uh, a couple years ago, I played it like a year late, I think, or two years late. Uh, but we streamed it on the channel, and I think it's still they're still available the episodes, and it was amazing. I had the time of my life playing that game. That game was so much fun. Are no your to save. Ooh, look at that! And he's wearing like the classic Doom armor too. I was curious about the title, Doom Eternal. I was wondering if it was going to be like a multiplayer game. I'm sure there is multiplayer elements, of course, 
But I was wondering about the story mode if there was going to be one. But looks like there's good single player action in it. Oh, that was cool how he set that trap. Whoa. Oh, oh man. Yes. Doom. That's awesome. Well, I'm excited, man. Doom Eternal. I'm definitely down. I'll be checking out this and the Shinji Mikami uh, game on the floor for sure. I'm going to look into this and uh, try to get some footage or something or play something or I don't know. Maybe that'd be cool if Shinji Mikami, if they did like another haunted house kind of thing like they did with uh, Evil Within at uh, E3 a couple years ago. I'd love to see something like that. But whatever they do for this or Doom, I'm going to definitely line up for it. I think they also, what we skipped over was um, a new Wolfenstein called Youngblood. And some of that footage looked pretty cool too. But I, again, I just, I was like, eh, didn't have a big reaction to it. So I'm going to edit over stuff that I'm, I'm not digging too much. Of course, the challenge in Doom is all about handcrafted combat, but also engaging level design. And in Doom Eternal, the game always has something to th new to throw at you, even deep into the campaign. Let's take a look. Oh, so we're going to see some Doom Eternal game uh, play footage, so let's check this out. He was saying how that they're going to like surprise you with elements, that level design, they, they put a lot of hard work in. What the... I like the jet boost. That's cool. That'll make platforming uh, areas fun for me, uh, considering I'm not very good at that kind of stuff, but that's cool. So this is just showing off the different levels. Did he really just step on something and it transport him to a different level? Or, like, are they going to do that? Or is this just, like, splicing together a bunch? They're probably just creatively editing these together. But, yeah, it looks cool. Because if this is all one level where you're just running and you're, like, seeing this as the background and then you see something else as the, and then you're in here and... Uh, that would have been amazing, but of course, it's just really good editing. <laughs> it fooled me at first. I was like, whoa, what? That transition was really flawless. Um, but wow, that does look fun. I love the melee kills. They're so amazing. Woo! All right. Got to, glad I got to see more Doom, man. After the trailer, I was like, we can see more? So that was nice. All right, more Doom. <laughs> awesome. So let's check this out. I love this. It's going to be a, a full-on Doom episode. This and Shinji Mikami. Like, that's it. Calculating thrust vectors. Launching in three, two, one. Launch. Let me turn this up a little bit. Approaching planetary entry settings. Whoa. Prepare for turbulence. Get it, dude. Get it. I love it too. He's like in the classic armor. Whoa, that was a nice transition of him getting out and then just boom, game started. Look at this. Ah, oh, this game's gonna be so much fun to play. Dang. There's no, I mean, come on. Like, how, how you can't really get any cooler than just like fighting demons from hell. Like, that, that's so metal in so many levels. It's awesome. Get him. Get him. Melee kill. Damn. Oh, we're almost down, aren't we? No, we're good. 59? 79? There we go. Nice. Whoa! Nice. Dang. Oh, oh, punch the head down into the chest. I love it. God, these games are so fun and over the top. I love it. What was that uh, previously recorded? I think that was like um, uh, Rich and, uh, and Jack from Red Letter Media. I know they canceled their show. They stopped doing their show. But I hope when this comes out, like Rich does a playthrough of it and brings back previously recorded with him and Jack for like you know, at least just this game. Because I know he's a big fan of this, and uh, I have a feeling he'll have a lot of fun playing it and streaming it. I think... Oh, man. Whoa! So if you're out there, Jack and Rich, like, please, please bring it back. Do, like, a, uh, you know, previously recorded special edition or something. Like, you know, six episodes of you just streaming this game. 
because uh, I would love that. I've been re-watching some old previous recordings. I love their playthroughs of the Jason, or the, their, their uh, online matches of the Jason Friday 13th game. And that's what made me want to buy the game. And I ended up buying it and having a lot of fun with it. So, um, And some people have asked me if I was going to do my Friday 13th reviews. Uh, and at Halloween, I will. In October, I will review every uh, every uh, Friday 13th movie in October. So like every like two days, I'll post a different movie review uh, for the month of October. Because um, I, I don't know if I'll do the TV series, though. But, uh, or talk about the video game. I think I'll just keep it strictly to the movies. So that's what, like, uh, 12 movies? So if I do one every two days, that'll take up most of the month of October. Dang, man. Big guys are no joke. Oh, there we go. And shove it right in his own mouth. You're done, son. Did he blow up? I think he blew up. Listen to music. Oh, man. It's amazing. That's amazing. Look at this level, man. Holy crap. Oh, and you can, like, swing off things. I can't remember if you did it in the last game or not. That may be. Because that last game I only did one playthrough of, but man, was it fun. Man, was it fun. Dang. Look at this. Is it a teleporter? It sure is, isn't it? Oh, no. You gotta get through this guy first, though. Whoa! Classic Doom monster. That's amazing. He's charging up, and they're gonna cut. Oh! Great job. Great job. Wow. That's right. Like, even that guy's mad. He's like, come on! Come on! What did you show it? On behalf of our amazing team at ID in Dallas and Frankfurt, Germany, we want to thank you all so much for your support. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. All right, the, the guys are saying goodbye, and it uh, looks like they're going to show one last thing here for, like, a battle mode, uh, like, extra game or something. Multiplayer, all-new multiplayer experience. Slayer versus Revenant and Mancubus. Two unleashed player demons. Oh. That's cool. So it's one human versus two demons in the multiplayer? I think it'd be kind of fun. Um, that's awesome. I'm glad we're getting even more footage. <laughs> Whoa, that was like Mortal Kombat style, huh? Round two. That'd be cool. They need to put the Doom guy in Mortal Kombat. That'd be awesome. Um give him the chainsaw fatality or something that's demon summon yeah it's like full on like uh, Mortal Kombat style this is amazing though I, I mean this game looks amazing they totally won this press conference for uh yeah what's up with that that's like all Mortal Kombat stuff wait oh battle mode okay I was like is it spelling Mortal Kombat no um they, I mean, like, Shinji Mikami came out and gave a great presentation for his game, but these guys destroyed. I mean, this this looks amazing. This looks amazing. I cannot wait for Doom Eternal. All right, so that's the end of the Bethesda press conference. Like I said, I was trying to keep it under 30 minutes, and they helped out big time because they showed off a lot of stuff that I, I really don't have a, a big interest in. Like, Fallout doesn't really interest me too much, um, you know, but obviously, you know, and then there was a couple other games in there. Uh, there were some things I liked, that, but I just didn't have a big reaction to, so it's like, eh, we won't share this, but they look pretty fun, like the Wolfenstein game and uh, and whatever the, the two guys uh, with the French accents who were, like, talking about their game. Like, that looked kind of cool, too. I'm, I'm blanking on the name of it right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, I skipped around a bit because you know, as far as editing goes, like I, rec I watched the whole press conference, but I wasn't really feeling some of it. But Shinji Mikami's new game uh, set in Tokyo where everyone's disappearing. It reminds me of that Superman story. I was just talking about it with my roommate the other day, actually, um, where I called The Vanishing, I think it was, by Brian Azzarello and Jim Lee, where like people just start disappearing and he finds this orb and he finds out it's the Phantom Zone and Zod has activated it from the inside and it's teleporting people from Earth into the Phantom Zone and then it's causing Superman to figure out what's going on and then he has to go into the Phantom Zone himself to like fight Zod and uh, that's kind of cool but so seeing it with like a supernatural twist and you're gonna have to deal with the occult and things like that you know what Jakumi was saying that uh, that looks amazing like I'm so pumped that those two reunited on a game they're working together at Tango and they're crushing it and they did Evil Within 1 and 2 which were amazing and now they're doing another new game I'm so excited for that I love seeing new IPs come out I love of course would love more Resident Evil stuff with Shinji Mikami 
Tommy and all this other stuff uh, and Evil Within. But, you know, it's great that he's moving on. He's like, hey, I did these things. I love them. They're great. I put my stamp on them. And now I'm going to go put my stamp on something else. And for that reason, I will always always check out what that guy does you know no matter what i'll at least give it a chance so i'm loving that and then all the doom stuff was amazing so that's pretty much it all made it into this cut of this episode but if there's anything i didn't cover let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below if you watch the press conference it's in the link in the description box below check it out watch it in full if you want let me know what your thoughts are i could see a lot of people got mad about stuff on here again i don't i didn't that didn't upset me watching that but i'm not as invested in some of these games like fallout and so, that these people are and so that's probably why they're downvoting the video because you know they feel like you know maybe fallout's not changing enough for them or doing things that they like um you know i get that but for me i have no reaction i have no anger towards this press conference at all i only liked two major things in it uh so yeah hopefully you guys dug this episode i know it wasn't super long compared to the xbox one but it is getting late now it's almost midnight my time so i should go to bed start editing these and get these rendering so that when i wake up i can start uploading them to youtube so i'm gonna try to stay up to date with you guys as much as i can get as many of video, uh, these videos up as i possibly can um and then i want you guys to tell me because these are the games when i edit my reactions these are the things that i'm probably going to actively go look for at e3 but if there's something i didn't you know react to that you want to see more of let me know in the comments below and i'll try to get some coverage for you of some kind at e3 when i go there on tuesday wednesday or thursday of this week so again thank you so much for watching my show as always leave all your comments down below and we'll continue our conversation down there thanks so much for watching my show like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you in the future peace